The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Take a look at this wheat chart, folks. You can see the number of times we met limit up here over the past eight or ten days. But the key there is you'll notice the first retracement we had exactly at the 382 level. Uh, just absolutely spot on. Now, I'm going to try to uh, get back into this and show you just a few others uh, that, uh, that we are watching here that I think you'll, you, you'll have some interest in them. Just give me one second here, and I'll do my best to get it up here. But this is one that was uh, very, very important to all of us because we love trading the gold market. And let's just hope that this one works. If it does, I'll be, uh, I'm a happy camper already. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, folks, this is a four-hour chart on the gold. You can see the ABCD pattern. You can see the $100 breaks. Uh, at that point, we said if it breaks any more than that, especially after we made a perfect 382 retracement up here at that time and i can't do that right now just a second hold on i gotta talk to tommy hugar just a minute <laughs> That must have been important. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, you'll see the, the four-hour chart just absolutely set up. Uh, you can see the 382 retracement. Now, folks, if you want to really try to learn this stuff, go go see what happened. And I'll do these tomorrow. Uh, Norm Winskis are here at the break here. But tomorrow I'll bring up every single one of these. I mean, that, I had eight of these that did exactly the same thing over the last several days. And I think you need to see these. And Well, you don't need to see them. What am I talking about? Anyway, if you'll take a look at that, you'll see that we have a really beautiful 382 up there. The ABCD on that goes to 1910, folks. If you can't buy gold at 1910s, quit this business because that's an ABCD. And it's going to be down, folks, believe it or not. Believe it or not, 160 bucks down from the high, and that's a that's a big number, folks. That's five harmonic numbers, and so it should stop right there at 1910. You don't have to risk more than ten dollars there. That's the main thing to to pay attention to. Just keep the amount of money that you have at risk very very small. But that is a, the first major ABCD that we've had in well over. Uh, three or four weeks, uh, well, more than that, probably five weeks because it's been a vertical move. And uh, so anyway, we're trading around 1950 and change right now. So we're only 40 bucks away. It should be hit today or tomorrow. And so let's watch that uh, very, very closely. Very, very important one. And, hey, from my perspective, because I look at these, I look at these from you know a pattern perspective, and that's you know really what I'm trying to do when I see these. Now the next one I want to get up here and show you that is uh, related to a couple other things that we look at. And this is the one that really is causing the problems everywhere, boys and girls. So give me a second, and I will get this one up, God willing. And I know she is. We'll get this up here. Share the screen. I got this working now. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, here's where the problem is, folks. You can see back there at 161, almost 161, we had a perfect 61% retracement. It missed it by eight pips. Now we're breaking down badly. You see how it's broken through the 61% retracement already? And with the Fed out there, you know that they've got to do something to try to tam inflation. And what it's going to be, I'm not sure. Whether it's going to be high interest rates or not, I really don't know. All I know is that we're getting great volatility, and this is what we're looking at. So if these bonds start to break, folks, you're looking at that target that we've been watching on bonds for a very long time, and that would come in at 129. And at that point, uh, the bonds will be very, very attractive, uh, but not here at this level right here. That means our, our rates would be close to about 3 to 3.5%. Three Remember, the, the, the uh, benchmark for many years was 4 or 5 
five percent. The old people, you know, relied on those. And then we went to one percent and under, you know, that was a basic tax on old people. And that's what uh, that's how we had to pay the price. So remind ourselves of that. Now, let's just go back. And I want to do one other one here because it's it's just related to what we're talking about. These are the big ones because these are the ones that everyone is following. They, they, they look at things a little differently. Let's get this up here right here. I got to change the screen here. Uh, now I have to go live, and I hope that's it. There we go. Now we're looking at crude oil, folks. You see it made the high there at 129 back back a few days ago, all right? Then we broke down. Look where we rallied to, folks, right to the 382 within 50 pips. And now we're heading down, and we're still heading down. It looks like we're going to break get to pretty close to uh, 90 to $95 a barrel. Now that's down from 129 I mean, that's that's a heck of a move. So let's keep it. Let's watch that. Uh, whether this thing in in uh, the Ukraine is going to be over or not, I don't know. Frankly, I think the stock market is holding up incredibly well, given the fact it's what's happened in the world. Look at the Chinese stock market, folks, and look at the Hang Seng. You know that? That's it. You know, we'll see what's happening. We'll see what uh, see what's going on. But anyway, uh, and you know the other thing, folks, this whole thing with Ukraine might already started the process of being over. No one knows that, and the news that you get is totally different than probably what's happening out there, just like everything else. So let's remind ourselves that uh, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. So uh, that's the main thing of taking a watch of what we're looking at here today as we watch some of these things unfold. Now, I do have one other one that I want to show you, and then we're going to have Norm coming up here in a break, and that is the Bitcoin because I really believe uh, that, and I'm just a chartist, but if uh, we'll get this up here, uh oh, why did that happen? Go live, here we go. Now I think, there we go. All right, there's the Bitcoin. You can see I put that orange arrow in. That's the 382 retracement, folks. We haven't been able to make that in just over four and a half weeks. That's not a good sign. Anything under 36,000 could set up big drop cryptocurrencies, which be a greatest buying opportunity since silver was at $4 an ounce. Anyway, let's move on here and have Norm Winsky from Astro Trends as our guest coming up next. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. 
Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we are missing our good friend Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. I think Norm must be a little bit uh, out of the weather, so we'll see what happens if we can get him up here. I have to show you this one, folks. Uh, this was posted to us by our good friend Mike up in Canada from uh, Kimball Charts. I did the same chart for the Hang Seng, and I did a great – well, I did a nice video on it. I thought I did because I got a lot of compliments on it. But let's take a look here at what we're watching here with this Hang Seng. This is really, uh, in fact, is it's the same as the uh, the Chinese market too, folks. It's uh, it's it's really quite uh, dramatic. You can see here we got this pennant that's up here, and we stopped exactly, folks. This is what's important from my perspective, being a technician. Now we had the Hang Seng down a thousand points today. That was down at nineteen thousand and one hundred, I believe. Uh, pretty close to that, whatever it was. Anyway, should we gap down tonight and leave a gap there? Boy, oh boy, that is going to be pretty nasty. So pay attention. To market to be down 5% in one day, you'll see on that chart that they're pointing at a 16,000. That that would really be easy because that that's uh, we're right at that 61% retracement on that long-term monthly. So it's very, very important that it holds this level. And it's pretty hard to hold it because being down 10%, it's going to cause government interaction, I believe, to come in to keep it uh, you know, from going down but we'll be able to see it. The other chart that I, I was trying to get to before, but I ran out a little bit of a time, but since we have time here, uh, I'll get this up here so you can folks to take a look at it. We talked about this last week when Mr. Z was on the line, and that was the fact that we had this uh, long-term chart here of, uh, you can see, this is the uh, long-term wheat chart. And, uh, you know, we, in fact, it went much higher than the one we have posted. This is the one I had posted from uh, last week, but we got up to just about $14 a bushel. Well, it did. I just missed the line up there. It did get to thirteen sixty a bushel, as you can see. And we sold off uh, $3, a little more than $3 a bushel, which isn't much in wheat, but it's still substantial. We're trading around 11 something right now. But the last time that happened, you see, we went, we went from 14 you know, all the way down to to uh, 450. It took a couple years to do that for two years, but uh, you know that was during the uh, financial crisis that we had in 2009. So th the good part about it is, folks, is it what what you're trying to do is to try to find an entry point where you not have to, you know, to sell the kids and mortgage the house and stuff like that. You know, take take little shots at it till you get it right. I mean, you've got to be able to do one or two things correctly and the best thing to do is to focus on the risk i haven't found anything easier to do than that is that what the abcd patterns do is that they do tell you that you're uh you know setting right on a situation where you have an abcd and if d doesn't fail if d doesn't work you're wrong you got to get out of it we had a very we had a really small loss in the japanese yen today we had a beautiful trade everything was set up on it perfectly and it's all through the night, it stayed, you know, within a hundred twenty dollar to two hundred dollar loss, and then of course it went up and took out the stop at three hundred dollars. But that's that's just here to there. You move on to the next one. If you'd have done the meal trade, or if you'd have done uh, some of the other trades that we were looking at, especially in the crude oil, the crude oil we had a three eight two folks at one seventeen, and that you see it's down almost ten dollars a barrel from there. That's a lot. You know, considering you're only risking about six hundred dollars, 
so I, just, did I take all of that? Of course not. I take a little bits and pieces of it, and I thank the trading gods. And w we had Mr. Bo on just a lot here in the den talking about the fact that uh, he had sold uh, Nikki Nike when it was 160, and uh, it uh, he got out at 120. And of course, it's still been dropping. But like you say, you're, only God keeps the high ticks and low ticks for herself and she really doesn't trade too much anymore because i understand you know she doesn't need the money well we'll hopefully have norm here on a bit but i'm going to go through a few others that uh things that we're looking at here that, that that are helpful if you like pattern recognition and of course a lot of the folks here do let's just get this this was really a really nice one too folks uh if you like the videos that i send out this is what i do uh, when I do the videos each day and I find some of these things. You can see here, this is the heating oil. You can see the big A, B, C, D pattern that formed up there at the top. Again, this is a 60-minute chart, but there's your A, B, C, D. A, B equals C, D, as old Mark Douglas used to say. The market breaks, and mine, it really breaks, folks. You can see how quickly it broke. Rallied up to the 382, and it's still going down. So when that big pattern completes, that's going to be something, you know, really, really interesting. The other question that someone's asked, have we ever been involved with these war situations before? <clears throat> yes, we have, folks, but not to the extent that we have the, you know, a, a journalist was killed in the Ukraine. But they, they are actually out in the field with these people. I mean, we, we have reports of, you know, when something goes off, they tell you right away exactly what happened. Before, we might know for two or three weeks. Well, we still might not know for two or three weeks. But the, the news that they are getting, we are assuming that it is correct. Now, one of the things that I heard last night, and I, I tell you, I find this really hard to believe, that the United States reported that Russia has been asked to uh, supply military-grade weapons to Russia uh, to Russia. China has asked. China has been asked by Russia to ask for military grade weapons. Now, if I were Putin and I had to have weapons, do you think I would let anybody know that I was going to do that? Now they say there's ways that people can understand and find out what's going to that, and maybe it's true. But to me, I mean, just being a statistician or a strategist, I would say, look, if I needed something, I don't want anybody to know that I need it. Otherwise, they're going to raise the price or even make it more difficult. So that's why the news is so difficult and why I try to listen to as little as possible. That's uh, the main thing that I wanted to do here as we go through here. Well, I guess if something happens has happened to Norm today. He's had a lot of trouble with the Internet down there, so let's take a look at it. Now, let's switch over to something else. We're just going to go to a different uh, a different commodity here altogether that we've been quite uh, negative on for quite some time, and that is uh, the old cup of joe, the old coffee market. And I want to get this up here so you'll be able to see it. Here's coffee. We have this humongous break. You can see the trend line there, the first trend line. You'll never guess what that ratio is, boys and girls. I won't even tell you. But I will tell you what the second one was. It was just like the first one, 0.382. You can't make it up. Anyway, if you're having trouble with your trading, folks, try the 382. Try it on for size. It'll fit. It's got everything that you could ask for. It's based on Mandelbrot's A, B equals C, D fractal. Uh, you don't have to count waves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 28, 16, 14, whatever they are. I happened to be invited to go to a webinar this weekend, and it was on uh, GAN and um, uh, Elliott Wave. And, folks, I swear to God, I've been in this business for 61 years, and I didn't understand what these people were talking about, honest to God. I, I really didn't. I mean, they had stuff in there that was so confusing to me that I said, holy moly, guacamole. And I, I lasted for about an hour and a half out of the two and a half hour program. But then I just uh, actually dozed off. And then I finally, when I woke up, it was already over. But that's neither here nor there. Now, let's switch over to the old red metal here. This is copper. I want to get the price of the chart up so we can see it clearly. And you'll get up here. And get the screen. And this is I'm actually getting it, getting the hang of this thing here. Holy cow! If the pattern doesn't disappear with me, I'm okay. Here's the copper. You can see the big A B C D to the downside. Yes, where the retracement went to, boys and girls. Spot on. Point three eight two. 
We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and with a little bit of luck and the trading gods on our side, we'll have none other than Norm Winsky from Astro Trends on the line now. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Can you hear me okay? You're coming in just great, buddy. I hope you're able to show the charts into the Tiger Den because, uh, unfortunately, um, I don't know how to do that yet. Eventually, I'll figure it out, but uh, I'm not sure whether they're in there yet. I don't seem to see any, but why don't you tell the folks – um, you know what you're looking at this week. We've got we've already cut the sh segment really short. So give us the the real skinny of what you're watching here, Norm. All right. Well, just for the backstop, if anybody would like, I will send them the notes for this that I prepared for for the show. Okay. Great. Okay. You want to tell the email right now? Over. Ask for the email right now so we can double check it. What what's that? Give your email right now so we can double All check right. it. N W I N S K I at E M like Edward Mary B A R Q M A I L dot com. That's good. Go ahead, please continue. And they can call me at two three nine five nine four three nine three nine, or call me on Skype at N W I N S K I underscore digit one. Okay, I'm going to skip over the review because we are short on time. And go right to the uh, skinny here, right to the chase. 
Uh, I hope they can see the charts because I had a great chart to show them, but uh, they can get it by email. Okay. And I did the, my version of Bradley, by the way, on the review. I had 19 winners, 7 misses out of 26 for 73.07%. Now we're going to jump to what's coming up. we got a, a cluster of events coming up here starting on Wednesday. Wednesday night, we'll have Uranus to the U.S. chart. That's U.S. stocks, T-bonds, dollar. That's a, got a major change in trend there for that. The night of the 17th, we have a full moon in Virgo. That's got, You want to watch the financials, grains, precious metals, and especially soybeans because it's in Virgo. And what we're looking for is the markets that are getting to some economic extreme. Are they going up or going down? Sideways, we don't do sideways. All right. And then the, <laughs> and then the 18th and the night of the 18th, we have Venus uh, at an extreme point in the Venus cycle. And that's cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, and wheat. And then also over that weekend, the weekend 18th, Saturn to the U.S. chart. So those are your four uh, of event windows that are coming up for the end, uh, starting on Wednesday. All right. Okay. Then I have a chart here. I don't know if anybody can see this or not. This is my version of the Bradley model where you add up the planetary events and plot them on a graph. I did this back in January. This is the February results. The blue line, if anybody can see that, I had it topping out uh, the first uh, 10 days of of uh, March, I'm sorry, February, first 10 days of February, and then down, 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 and that's pretty close to what happened, you know? And there we go. And then, so that's pretty much it. If you, I don't know if anybody can see okay. this or not. Uh, I'll go back and you can take a screenshot if you can see it. And I'll give you well, a 10 seconds, you know, 10, 9, uh, 8, 7, Norm 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we're going to go, then we're just on that. If you contact me, you can get a free class. And uh, and, and there you go. And I gave you my contact information there. There's, uh, I'm in sunny Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. And Winscan, Embark, E-M-B-A-R-Q-M-A-I-L.com. Skype, N-W-I-N-S-K underscore one. Any questions, comments? Well, I, I tell you what, I really would like to see uh, any chance you could make a cameo appearance tomorrow morning early so we can see this Bradley and some of these others. What I'd like for you to do, know, Norm, if you'll send me that Bradley and those result that uh, indicator that well, you, you had. Well, you have all. I sent you my no, notes. Just, but, listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, sir. When you send them to me, the charts are so big that I cannot copy and paste them into the room. They're just too large. I mean, you've got writing all over them, and they're just too large. you got to make them a little smaller so that I can put them in there, and then I'll be able to look at them. So if you can do that, let me know, and I'll post them in there well, tomorrow. We'll chat again. I don't again. know how to size them. You'll have to, you have to size them <laughs> on your hand so they work. Yeah, right. Two guys from Indiana trying to figure out how the computer works. Give me a break. We have a better chance of hitting the lottery, Norm. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy, and we will have you on really soon because we like your stuff. And I'm sorry you had to mix up. Uh, Ninety percent of it's my fault, and the other ten percent is my fault. So, uh, we'll okay. get you. We'll get this stuff working eventually. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. You bet, Norm Winsky, folks. And anyway, he's always got some great things. I'd like to see his work on the Bradley because he's been working on it as long as anybody that I've had here. <laughs> Find her middle schooler to do it, Buffy. You're absolutely right. I called my eight-year-old grandson this morning. He said he didn't have time to help me. Anyway, uh, no, that's not true. Anyway, we'll get something else moving here. Let's get on to a couple other charts that are that are very interesting here, folks. Uh, the main thing is to keep an eye on what happens to the Hong Kong market tonight because uh, – Oh, that's very – Shane just told me send him as a PDF file. That's very good. And uh, we'll have – we're going to have Shane on on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's guest will be Stan Harley. On Wednesday, we're going to have uh, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. On Thursday, we're going to have Shane Smolian of WolfTrader.com. And I've given up trying to get to connect Mr. DiNapoli. He's too busy for us, so there's nothing else I can do uh, but to worry about that. The big thing is watch the news with the Federal – not the news, but the market action with the Federal Reserve coming out there today. I mean, they're, they're having a hard time keeping these interest rates 
from going, you know, very, very high. We hit all-time record, I think, on the T-note. I think a 10-year hit 2.1 or something, I heard. I might have been con con confused about that one, but uh, that's the one that I did. Now, I did post a chart of Royal Bank. Let me get this up here. Our good friend up in uh, Montreal, Mike, wanted to ask about the Royal Bank, and I'll get this up here so we can take a look at it here. And I just click that on. And I don't. This is a Canadian bank, folks. All I can tell you is it made a nice Gartley there, at the 707 retracement. Uh, that's also a 20-minute line if you do the line across. It's had a nice rally. The, the 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 problem is the rally only went to the 382, and boy, that's a from my perspective, that's a red flag. So let's uh, remind ourselves that uh, if these things can't get any higher than that, get out of the way. So we'll see uh, how it's going to work. But anyway, let's uh, remind ourselves. The Fed does not come out until Wednesday. Thank you, Mr. G7, for telling me that. And I saw it on the news somewhere, but since I don't follow it too much, I really don't get involved with the, uh, the Fed. I watch how, how the action works around it. But other than that, you know, it's not, uh, it's not that important. Here's one that is really important. And we are really close here, folks. There's a couple of problems with this chart. And I'll tell you, because the reason why I have seen so many things over the weekend, uh, because I wasn't uh, talking, which is not hard to do, uh, I, I started looking at it. There were so many projections on the S&P and the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. They were all the same. Boys and girls, when you see all these projections going to be the same, you could almost be assured that something's not right. So the fact that this market is holding up extremely well may be the indicator that we might be getting ready for a big rally. And uh, gosh, I hope we get it because I don't like to see people going through what they're going through over there. I never had to do that and none of my family had other than my father and his brothers in World War II, but not good. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000.
Do you want to make one thousand per year on a hundred thousand dollars invested, or seven thousand per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays seven percent per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of the uh, S&P, and I, uh, this the S&P cash, as you can see, and it's also got all these targets that people are looking at between 3,800 and 3,600, and that could certainly happen, but when you see so many of them, gee, it makes you suspect. I want you to see this next one because uh, this, I think, is important. This was our losing trade that we had last night, folks. This was an absolute perfect setup, except for one thing that was wrong, and that is that big, wide-ranging bar going up into the 1.618. However, it had so many numbers up there on the daily and weekly that you just had to do it. It ended up being a $300 loss, but that's the kind that you have to do because sometimes they stop right there and they roll right over. Your risk-to-reward ratio there was about 5 or 6 to 1. Unfortunately, it was reversed this time. You lost the 300 bucks, but the other trades that we looked at last night all worked pretty nicely. Uh, this was the only one that didn't work uh, very well at all. So remember, folks, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. Keep keep preaching on it. Eventually, people will be able to, to get what's going on here. Yes, the Chinese market is in great distress. And, of course, the government over there can control that market. So don't be surprised to free them changing uh, rules and all kinds of stuff. But the main thing is if that Hang Seng happens to gap down sharply tonight, and I don't think that it will, yeah, but that's my opinion. And of course, you know, opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. So that's all it means. But watch that opening tonight in Hong Kong. That comes in at around uh, 8.30 tonight here in the uh, Pueblo here uh, in Tucson. So 11.30 in New York, and uh, we'll watch that uh, very, very closely. Keep your uh, money in your pockets. I think we're going to be able to buy the gold down there at 1911, 1910 here today, or not today, but probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. Oh, maybe around Fed time. We'll watch that. Let's just shoot for Wednesday on that one. So that's it. So that's what we're looking at today, boys and girls. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Keep those cards and letters coming in, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with our guest, none other than Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. 